Okay, wily fighting time. Man, this is a sucky boss fight. He's really, really easy, except for the fact that you can get smashed. You can get, you can accidentally fuck the jump up and fall into the spikes. Yeah, and that's the thing that sucks about it, is that you don't jump as high as you think you would. You have to kind of do it a bit later than you would think. Oh god. Oh god. Still made it. That's good. That's good, I guess. I don't remember if he has a second form for this battle. I don't think so. I think that after this, it's the, um... I have to go up against him in the disappearing, reappearing saucer, or the uh, ship thing. Which is kind of annoying, that's kind of... That, I do think, is where Capcom dropped the ball a little bit creatively, because they kept just doing the same final wily boss fight over and over again. Like, they put more thought into the build-up to the final fight than they did on the final, on the finale. I think I could just stand here, but except... No, no, he's... He's just jittering all over. <laughs> I hate that, I hate that when I get a shot in, and there's one more, one more! Hehe, <laughs> I like that I can still move around after the fight. Actually, no, because I could have accidentally gotten into spikes. I've had that happen a few times when I get killed by an enemy projectile after I've already been the boss character. Okay, I think this is where we have the whole hallway of mechs. And when I got this game for the Virtual Console and I played through it the first time, yeah, I did not have any... I did not have any energy tanks at this point. And because these things are kind of... are actually kind of difficult to beat, I kept fucking it up and uh, wasn't a good, wasn't good, it was was not good. Is no good. Well, there were only two of them, but you can see I I got I took so much damage. So I'm just gonna cheat right now, use that, and then I'm gonna use beat. Oh, 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 I forgot. There's, there's, there is a fight before it. Wow, I don't remember this fight. I remember the sorcerer fight, but I don't remember this. But I think it comes right after this. Okay, I'm gonna cheat again. Sorry if I'm being a cheap bastard, but honestly, honestly, I just don't want to fuck this up because we're so close to the end. Yes, here it is. I was expecting this fight to have to start a bit sooner, honestly. because he's kind of hard to hit. Anyway, that's why it's good to have beat. Helping you out. Yeah, especially when he's up high like that. You know, you can't really hit him from there. Or I don't know, maybe maybe with the gyro copter weapon, but your, your reaction time has to be really good for it to work. Aha! Uh -huh. He's gonna just... yeah. That's the also nice beat. Basically just reveals where Wily is. Kinda doing badly. Oh god. Oh god. I'm not gonna lose this fight now. I'm so close to finishing right now. 
that I had to call him again. I love the little whistle that he does, honestly. This is kind of he's real cute. Hope he didn't do shit that time. <laughs> like bead, like uh, bead isn't necessary for this fight, but he does make it a bit easier. <coughs> Dark man, honestly, I cannot beat Dark man without bead though. So there, there he's absolutely mandatory. Oh man. If this happens again, I think Beat's gonna win the fight for me, basically. Yes! It's over! I was wondering if I'm doing way too many Homestar Runner jokes in my <laughs> Let's Play. <laughs> He's chasing him down. This is cute. I love this animation. It's, gr it's just great. Little 8-bit soap opera going on here. There's no dialogue during this part, which I always thought was kind of odd. Whoa, what's happening? Oh my god! That actually looks kind of frightening. Especially as a... I don't think Mega Man's sweating, I think he's just straining under the pressure. Of course, Proto-Man helped them escape. That's nice. <laughs> This is a pretty epic looking animation. It's kind of similar to the, the typical Castlevania ending animation. I only wish they would have made Broto Man's scarf uh, fluttering the wind. And then we have the credits. Gravity Man. Yukiko Mori. Wave Man, the guy, the man with the harpoon, and a crown for some reason. <laughs> I think it's the whole Neptune thing, I guess. Stone Man! Ugh. Oh man, I missed my chance to do the voices again. God damn it. Durr, was that was the voice for Stone Man in the cartoon. He's on Boulevard Drive! Something like that. I gave him a very serious voice for some Gyro Man. Bitch, please. <laughs> that was more or less my voice for Starman in the cartoon. And who's next? Oh, he didn't say anything. He was just, "Hey, Choo Choo, want some? You need some coal?" <laughs> I think Ken did a wonderful job with the voiceover on that cartoon. He didn't say anything too. I I've missed all my chances. Infrared, I just scumbag. That was my favorite line as, <laughs> as Gravity Man because we missed it already. What's the melting point of uranium? 1,405.3 Kelvin. In Fahrenheit, you scumbag! Just because I got a crystal ball stuck in my head doesn't mean I have a me crystal meth lab somewhere in the city. So what do you do then? Fake ideas. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and now, now it's just regular names. That's kind of this kind of rare for uh, '90s uh, video game. I guess they just didn't want they, I, I, they wanted to be kind of official with this one. I'm kind of pressing the buttons on the Wii mode as well because I don't want the screen to go black. These uh, um, that's one kind of bad thing about the Virtual Console is that the the controller will go out during these longer segments. For some reason, it doesn't like register that oh, there's still something going on. I think KJ Inafuni's name is supposed to be here, unless I missed it. I, th I think I might have missed it. That's odd. They don't. They didn't. They're not listing like what what do these guys actually do in the game. They usually do that, even when they have the fake names. I don't know. There's something about the NES space effect. It's somehow very classic to me. You didn't need much back in those days to be impressive. It still looks good. It still looks good. Like, sometimes the simple things look the best. Okay, here we go. Object designer. Oh, there he is. Enough King. Yeah, they do have their funny names. Miki Senor. <laughs> Patarira. Well, so many uh, Spanish-sounding names. 
Mary was the sound composer. <laughs> Presented by... Oh, I think Pete's gonna fly by and drop all the na Letters. There it is, Capcom. Ah, love Beat. Screw those guys that did the vocal version of the Mega Man song and said that nobody needs a robot bird. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. And that's it for this time. See you on the next one. I'm Hanno the Honda Mackinen. Bye!